This video will help you prepare for your appointment at a mass vaccination clinic in Baltimore County. Vaccines are a safe, effective, and important way to control the spread of disease and reduce severe illness. We know that a mass vaccination site may be a new experience for you. And we are here to make the process as easy as possible. To get an appointment, you will need to take two steps. Step one is signing up in the registry, and step two is making an appointment. The first step is to sign up in the registry. To register for a vaccine, go to www.baltimorecountymd.gov vaccine. Signing up to register does not mean that you have an appointment. After you register, we will email you a link to make an appointment. Please be patient as it may take more than two weeks to receive this link. When making your appointment, be sure you fill out all your information and hit save. Your information is protected. We do not collect or share your personal information with anyone. It is only for the purposes of making your vaccination appointment. Once you have an appointment date and time, you may come to your designated location. Police officers will direct you where you can park. All sites have access via public transportation. We also have an area for Uber and ride sharing. If you need assistance getting to the entrance from the parking lot, a golf cart will shuttle you to the front door and then back to your car when you are done. Staff are available with wheelchairs if you need assistance walking or moving through the site. When you enter, you must wear a mask inside. Staff will verify that you have an appointment and are feeling well today. Please remember, taking photographs or video is prohibited inside the mass vaccination sites. Next, you will be directed into a line. At some locations, you will follow a line along the floor. At other sites, you'll follow a path along the track. Please keep six feet apart from others in line unless they are assisting you. Red dots on the floor or tape marks will help you know where you can stand to keep your distance. For people who cannot move easily through the lines, a special area with chairs is available to reduce the amount of walking. Please be patient as this area may require you to wait for someone to come assist you. If you are in a wheelchair, all lanes are wide enough to accommodate you. Certain lanes may be designated as wheelchair lanes. Our staff can assist you. You will then check in at registration. Our staff will ask to see a driver's license or some other form of identification. This is to ensure they have the correct appointment information matched to the right patient. They will verify your name, address, date of birth, and phone number. They will also ask you some medical questions to be sure you have no severe allergies. 
If you have special medical issues or allergies, a physician is available to answer your questions. If the physician determines you can be vaccinated, they will place a pink sticker on your shirt. This alerts our medical staff that you have allergies or some other medical concerns. If you are deaf or hard of hearing and need to read lips, please let our staff know. We have clear masks available that we can wear to help us communicate better. If you cannot read lips and no ASL interpreter is available on site the day of your visit, communication boards are available. After you visit registration, you will be directed into a vaccination lane. All of our vaccination teams are nurses, paramedics, and EMTs who have been trained in giving vaccinations. They will verify your information first and will ask you to roll up your sleeve. The vaccination is given in the upper muscle of your arm. It is quick and painless. After you have been vaccinated, we will need to observe you for 15 minutes in the observation area. While you are waiting, our staff will help make your second appointment if your vaccine requires a second dose. All of our locations have EMTs and paramedics on site. Do not worry, they are just there if anyone does not feel well or needs assistance. We know a mass vaccination site can cause anxiety for autistic people and people sensitive to noise, such as people with dementia. If you need a low stimuli environment, please let our staff know. A low stimuli room is available at some locations. We encourage you to provide a means to reduce your stimulation. While we allow trained service dogs, we do not allow emotional support animals. If a mass vaccination site is too much stimulation for you or your family member, we recommend making an appointment with a participating pharmacy. Our hotline can help you find one at 410-887-3816. We are committed to providing a clean and safe environment. We disinfect all chairs and surfaces throughout the day. Anyone in a vest can assist you. All of our friendly and caring staff are here to help you through this process. Thank you for getting vaccinated and helping keep Baltimore County healthy.